it's me, Mr. Zeiss. So in this video, we're making copper chloride by membrane electrolysis, y'all. So the first thing we need is sodium chloride in this form crystals. And this is our anode, it's made of copper. And our cathode is made of stainless steel, y'all. So our uh, sodium chloride goes in here. And we just have some pure water for the uh, electrolyte liquid, y'all. And uh, the other side, we need this and a little bit of baking soda. Once you do this for the conductivity, you can see that the amperage is still very low because the membrane has just been polarized. <coughs> it hasn't run yet for very long, y'all. So, now, it's only been a few seconds, but uh, we're gonna mix our things around using some hoses, y'all. So we put this in the uh, anode chamber. And now we'll bubble some stuff through a solution. Here's the other hose. And we'll put this in the cathode chamber to mix things around. We have to adjust the flow rate, so I'll do this later though. And my power supply is looking really cute. Now the next thing to do is to time lapse this footage. As you can see, the moment things are being mixed, the uh, current is going up, y'all. Okay, so uh, after some time, the solution looks like this. If in case it's cloudy, just pour a bit of hydrochloric acid. Uh, this is a little impure, but uh, sometimes it must be done. Okay, so to stop the cell, we're gonna use the venturi, and we're gonna suck out the cathode liquid and pour the anode liquid in some other chamber. Yeah. And that is good. Now, we can plug that shit when we uh, remove this stuff and turn this off. We also get this byproduct over here, but that's not our concern. What we do is we put some hydrochloric acid until all of this is dissolved. Now the next step is to let this dry out in the sun. And then after it's dry, we pour some ethanol. And sodium chloride is not going to be soluble in ethanol, so it will crash out, y'all. Meanwhile, we'll get our... Uh, Copper chlorate in our ethanol solution.